Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to start by saying massive thank you to everybody who's still been interacting with the channel despite the fact that I've been pretty much YouTube inactive for the last uh, six months or so. I've not been actually YouTube inactive, but obviously I've not been posting any videos. Uh, due to the fact that I've not really had any work to post the videos of. Um, this, I mean, where do we even start with 2020? Where do we even start? What a year it's been. What a year it has been. Um, all plans out the window, obviously. And I'm sure 99% of us are in the same boat. Um, yeah, I've, I mean, realistically, I think the only way to look at this year in a positive light is that I'm in good health, um, my friends and family are in good health, uh, and that's all that matters really. That's what I'm taking out of the, out of the, uh, out of the year so far. Um, there is not a single person, I'm sure, who has not been affected in one way or another by the, I don't even want to say the word, I can't bring myself to mention the certain word that's had an impact on so much this year. It's, it's just been insane. But as I said, you know, um, I'm in good health and so are my friends and family. And realistically, the things that I've lost have been materialistic, like um, good jobs and holidays and stuff. So I think we've got to take it with a pinch of salt. I This really first affected me in March. Uh, a couple of weeks before, obviously, the UK went into lockdown. Um, I was doing a little tour, I was doing a little UK tour. Um, and I'd actually, I'd started videoing it as well. It was only a uh, few gigs around the UK. I think we did uh, Glasgow, well, UK and Ireland. We did uh, Glasgow, Dublin. Um, we had a gig in Belfast and that gig got pulled on the, I want to say, I want to say it was around about the 9th of March, when it was first becoming a thing and we were, people were worried about uh, it being spread. It might have been a bit later, it might have been about the 11th or 12th, somewhere around there anyway. So that gig got pulled, um, which put an end to that job. Uh, the, the, the kit got dehired went back to the supplier and that was it went back to the yard parked the truck up I parked the truck up on Friday the 13th of March ironically and that was it that was it for uh, the best part of six months uh, we're now on the I want to say it's the 9th of September today uh, yeah and I've been back in the truck now for about 10 days. So almost six months, give or take. Um, the truck's been parked in the yard, as have the majority of the fleet. Um, obviously, our work is based around events and events only, which of course have been stopped. Um, there's no kind of well there's there's nothing even on the horizon really for obviously you know when events are going to be um, held again um, and we don't do general haulage well we didn't do general haulage so guys I've no idea where we got to there before the camera cut off um, I'm having issues with this GoPro in fact, I'm about fed up with it. 
but we'll get round to that. We will get round to that later on. So yeah, um, back to what I was saying. Yeah, Friday the 13th of March, truck got parked up. Um, slowly but surely all the trucks came back off all the other jobs that they were doing. Um, and that was it. Every I have no idea what's going on with the GoPro, but that's twice it's cut off now when I've been in the middle of uh, recording the clip. I think it's about ready for recycling, to be honest. It's, um, it's only a Hero 4. I bought it in 2016. It's, I mean, it's done the job, but it's not quite up to today's standards. But yes, anyway, that's another story, we'll get around to that later. Um, so yeah, as of March, things have been pretty different. Um, so yeah, that I parked the truck on Friday the 13th, and um, I, was, I was due to fly back to the States on the 17th, I think it was. Or it might have been the uh, yeah 17th of uh, March. I was flying back to Texas, and I got an email on the Sunday, the 15th, to tell me that um, my Esther had been suspended, uh, and I'm not allowed into the country. Obviously, due to um, the restrictions on travels, so. That was a bit of a bummer. Um, in fact, I should have been in Las Vegas right now. Uh, where are we? Night for September. Yeah, I should have been. Uh, should have been in Las Vegas right now for Labor Day weekend. Um, so that's another trip to the states that I've lost. Well, I've not lost. I've I've, uh, I've got credits for the flights, but who knows when we're going to be allowed back out there again. Yeah, so I parked this lorry up. I did. Uh, I went back to my first employers, who I passed my HGVs with, um, and did a week for them doing general haulage. And then um, I went and worked. I had six, seven weeks at home, I think. And then from. Um, May, I was working for somebody else doing um, doing Amazon work, um, doing nights. So that's why there's been absolutely nothing to record. Oh. It's like a roller coaster. I'm on the A16. Um, I've just loaded at Boston, heading down to Bedford now. I've got a 10:30 tip at Bedford. Is he? 8.30 a.m. on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I'm heading down to Bedford for a 10.30 tip. And then I am going over to Whiz Beach to load there and up to Glasgow. So a little bit of a jolly out. Hopefully we're going to get a video out of it. So yeah, going back to the beginning of the video, as I was saying, um, massive, massive thank you to everybody who are, uh, oh, did he just, yeah, I thought so, <laughs> I've, just... <laughs> I've just seen an accident, it was only a little bump, but uh, somebody just ran into the back of the car in front of him at the roundabout. Yes. Um, thank you so much to everybody who has liked, commented, subscribed. I've had over a thousand subscribers since I last put that last video out, which was at the end of February. Um, and I've obviously, I've not been posting anything on YouTube and I've had over a thousand subscribers. I've had so many messages on Instagram and Facebook. If you don't follow me on Instagram, by the way, give me a follow at D1986Scott. Um, I'll put a tag somewhere across the screen. 
um, to my Instagram. I don't really post a lot of truck and work related stuff on there at the minute, but I'm gonna start um, doing more truck related things on Instagram. Photos, obviously, because that's what it's for. And um, things on my story and stuff like that. A bit more about what I'm doing not necessarily on a daily basis but I'll be posting more about what I'm doing and where I am uh, on my Instagram so go and give me a follow please <laughs> um, yeah all the messages that I've had honestly thank you to everybody I, I, I've not responded to everybody I do try um, but it's difficult obviously responding to everybody all the time while I'm at work as well so um, if I don't respond I'm not being ignorant I do and I've said this before with the YouTube videos I don't um, there's there's comments that I don't see and I mentioned it in a video a while back um, I don't always see everybody's comments sometimes comments get lost because they're not in a uh, chronological order so I'll look back through old videos sometimes and then find comments from like months ago that I've not seen and I've not liked it and I feel like bad. I feel like I've been ignorant and uh, that's not the case. I, I genuinely don't always see everybody's comments. Um, so if I like, I like every comment. I do like everybody's comment unless you're being an arse which some of you are you know who you are I know who you are um, and your snidey comments don't go unnoticed some of you are, are plain blatantly obvious about it and you're just horrible anyway which is fine I'd rather you be like that than try and be an arse without looking like one to be honest um, yeah as I said I know who you are it doesn't bother me so crack on but I am aware so I'm not going to bore you any longer guys with the sight of my face and nothing else to look at uh, we're going to get down to Bedford, get this load off, hopefully, hopefully it's going on a bay. Because uh, I'm doing curtain side work at the minute. And it is, it is mainly all curtain work. Which don't get me wrong, I don't mind, it's keeping me, uh, it's keeping me more active than sitting in the truck all the time. But I must have opened and closed the curtains more times in the last week and a half than I have in the last nine years working for KB. Um, you don't realise how much you appreciate having a box trailer until you have a curtain again. And you have to load it through the sides all the time and strap everything down. And all the other nonsense that goes with pulling curtain sliders. But it is what it is, I've been spoiled for nine years. I've been seriously, seriously spoiled and I'm not under any illusions that I haven't had the easiest life that I could probably ask for in terms of trucking. It has been a doddle. So, you know, doing a bit of actual work won't do me any harm. I'm not even gonna try and pretend and it's hard work because it's not some of you are probably laughing now I know you know there are many different types of haulage and uh, in fairness general haulage with curtain siders is still one of the easiest it really is it's not hard work it's just I'd say after what I've been doing it's like a little bit mentally draining if anything Especially when it's raining outside and it's wet and oh, in and out of the cab, getting wet and opening and closing curtains and getting covered.
covered in muck and that ain't my business anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I've been spoiled and I'm, I'm not, I can't even pretend that I haven't. So I'm gonna get down to uh, Bedford, get it on a bay. I think it's a bay because it's an RDC. So get down there and do a bit more talking. Right, made it to Bedford. Um, well in good time, what time are we on now? It's uh, it's 10 past 10 for a 10.30 booking and I'm here and on the bay, so yeah, good result. Um, so there's a few things I wanna talk about now and firstly, and I'm just gonna get it out of the way, I'm thinking about monetizing the channel. Now, I don't want you to, you know, throw the toys out the pram, have a hissy fit, click off, unsubscribe, blah, blah, blah. Let me explain in a little bit more detail why I'm thinking about doing this. Um, firstly, my promise to you, and a few of you have messaged me, you know, as I was saying earlier, a few of you have messaged me um, and said, when are you coming back? When are you gonna start doing videos? And I've said to, to most people who've messaged me, when I come back, uh, things are going to be different and I'm going to be coming back a whole lot better than I was before um, and by that I mean in the quality of my editing so I mean to be honest it's quite actually laughable and I, when I think about it now I can't believe that I've made it this far with a GoPro 4 and my iPad it's almost it's actually embarrassing that I've that the videos have been edited in this way up until now. I've got nearly 5,000 subscribers now and I'm still, well I was still using uh, a GoPro 4 and my iPad and it's just not enough. So what's happened is back end of last year, um, I bought a Mavic 2 Pro. Um, I had a, a Mavic anyway, an original Mavic and great drone, loved it, um, but the Mavic 2 Pro came out and then I was, I ummed and awed for a little bit and then I, I looked into the actual quality of it and I was like, do you know what? It is quite a step up from the Mavic, the original one. So I bought a Mavic 2 Pro. So when I bought the Mavic 2 Pro, I then realized that my laptop was nowhere near powerful enough to be editing photos to the quality that I wanna be editing photos at. Um, it was just very slow it didn't have enough I, I'm not a very techie person I don't know all about specifications and things like that so I talked to my brother who's a little bit more tech savvy than I am and he said you need more RAM basically so the old laptop went and then I ended up buying a Mac so that was quite a big outlay for me before Christmas. Um, I didn't have to buy it, but it was one of them where it was like, if I want to be doing what I want to do, I need better quality um, hardware. So I bought the Mavic 2 Pro and then I bought the Mac. And then it was at that point that I realized, well, now I've got this gear, I can, use Premiere Pro so I've been learning how to use Premiere Pro so I can do things like um, the black bars at the top of the screen you know to give it like the more cinematic kind of feel um, transitions between video clips um, obviously I'm very very limited as to what I can do with the software that I was using with the iPad um, so I'm going to learn how to do transitions um, I want to learn how to color grade videos so you know you get a much much better quality picture than obviously what I'm getting right now with the um, with the GoPro Hero 4 um, sound effects you know just little things that are going to enhance the videos like sound effects for example um, 
So I've also recently invested in a um, in a DJI Osmo. Let me show you actually. Let me show you. So this is your DJI Osmo. It's a tiny little thing. It's called an Osmo Pocket, and it's called an Osmo Pocket because it fits in your pocket. But it is it's a DJI product, the same as the drone, and. Um, it's brilliant. It's basically it's a stabilized gimbal. It's a motorized stabilized gimbal, so you can do all kinds of fancy camera moves and things like that. And the camera, well, obviously you can set the camera to, you can set it to like follow mode, so it will follow where you go. You can set it on like a lock thing, um, but it's basically keeps stabilized footage with a handheld device. Um, very very clever and it's very good. I've used it a little bit um, over the last couple of weeks and it is, I've got to say, it is very good but it wasn't cheap. But let me save the best till last. It is time to step the game up guys it's time to step the game up we're not we're not playing around now we're not taking baby steps we're going whole hog it's time to bring out the GoPro Hero 8 I have ummed and ahed about it for ages I've watched video after video on YouTube about specifications um, capabilities what it does um, I was torn between this and the Hero 7. Hero 7 still looks quite good, but uh, obviously I've just decided to go for the latest model. Um, so, I'm going to be honest, I've spent an absolute fortune on uh, camera equipment and hardware. And on top of that, I'm also paying um, a monthly fee for Premiere Pro. But... As I've said, the editing now, it's time to it's time to do more. I don't I don't wanna be just um I'm not happy with just you know recording clips on the GoPro, sticking them on the iPad and cutting and shutting and um posting them on YouTube. If I'm gonna do this properly and I've talked about this before in videos, I'm the kind of person that, you know, once I've got something, I always want that little bit more and I want to do better and I want to make the most of what I've got and um, I'm the same in, in, in many, many, like, many different aspects of life. I, I always want the best of what I can have. Um, so yeah, also with the GoPro Hero 8, I can, one of the reasons why I went for that is because you can... Um, you can shoot in like a flat profile so you can also color grade your GoPro footage now so yeah I'm hoping that the quality of the videos from now not necessarily right now obviously because I'm still recording on the GoPro 4 but hopefully the quality of these videos is just gonna skyrocket um, that's my promise to you lot I am learning Premiere Pro I'm trying my very best it is just like biblical it's like trying to learn another language there is so much to learn and do with it but also I like that because it keeps me busy it's giving me something to do um, and it's very rewarding it's very very rewarding when you can do some of the things that Premiere Pro is capable of and I, I've seen some I mean almost film quality footage um, but that's where I want to get to I'm I don't you know I don't just want to be I don't just want to get to a level and stay there I want to keep moving up levels and that's why I've invested so much money into the stuff that I've now got because this is going to give me a platform to like I said move up levels so that's my promise to you guys if I monetize the channel. I'm not, I haven't monetized the channel at the minute. Um, I thought I'd gauge everybody's opinions and reactions before 
I go down that route. I don't. I mean, if the majority decision is that um, people aren't interested because it's monetized, then we're not going to do it. But at the end of the day, I'm I'm still going to do all this anyway. I'm still going to be using Premiere Pro and basically just making the most out of the things that I've got um, to bring better quality videos, whether I monetize the channel or not. So. Um, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Um, is it something that puts you off? If it puts you off, if it's a majority decision, um, uh, people don't want to see it. I'm not going to do it. It's that simple. I'd like, you know, I've said from the start, I'm not in it for the money, and I don't. If people, if that's what people think, if people think, oh well, he's only monetized it, you know, he's only doing this because he wants the money, then I'm not going to bother. Um, just to prove a point, really, that I'm I'm not in it for the money. But with the amount of money that I've outlaid, I mean, I'm not I'm not going to talk figures, but do the maths for yourself. A new a, a new Mavic 2 Pro, you know, um, the MacBook Pro, um, the DJI Osmo, and a Hero a GoPro Hero 8, and I want another one as well. I want another Hero 8 because I want um, I want to be able to get two cameras running at the same time. The Hero 4 is going. I'm sick of it. I'm sick and tired of it. It's it's not up to to be honest, it's just not up to today's standard. Um, and I'm having problems with it anyway. It keeps cutting out and in the middle of clips and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. Let me know what you think. If it's a bad idea, I won't do it. So, yeah, I've just had the green light on on the bay, actually. I've been here. Um, 28 minutes I'm gonna be honest I'm quite quite pleased about that I've been here 28 minutes 25 pallets um, and we're ready to go already so yes this video is probably still gonna be shot majority on the hero 4 because I've not even taken the 8 out of the packaging yet I, I, um, I need to set it up figure out how to use it what I'm doing and etc etc so for now, I'm going to carry on doing the rest of this video with the Hero 4, but rest assured, whether I monetize the channel or not, we are going up in the world from here. We're going up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and get my paperwork and my keys and then head over to Whiz Beach to pick the Glasgow load up. So let's go and do a bit. Two 10 hour drives already, so I've 
I've got a 15 to use today, but this will be the last one. Unless I use a split brake somewhere. Which I'm sure most of you know what that means. For those of you who don't, I'll run, by, run it by you quickly. It means if I have three hours continuous rest or break at some point during the day, uh, it means I can use an extended shift of up to 15 hours and it will not count as a reduced daily rest. Basically, I have to have three hours on break and then minimum nine hours rest at night. And uh, that will not count as a reduced nine hour rest. Although it is a reduced nine hour rest, the three hours that you have in the day counts towards your daily rest which makes it a full 11 hour or more. I know three and nine equals 12 and you're probably thinking that don't add up, but that's how it works. You have to have three hours and then a minimum of nine. But forget all that, because we don't even know if we're going to use any of them yet. We've not had uh, a reduced rest today because I've not had three hours on break. So today is going to be it might actually be a 13, I don't know, I need, I need to have a think about this. So yeah, I have got five hours and three minutes driving time remaining on a nine hour drive. So, it's 216 miles, I believe, to Penrith's truck stop. That's where I'm shooting for. Shooting for Penrith. But it's half of the journey, I would say probably a good half, is a single carriageway. So I've got the A47. Uh, the A17 from Kings Lynn back to Newark where I'm going to jump on the A1 and then I'm going to go straight up the A1 to Scotch Corner and then across the A66 and in all fairness they've made a lot of the A66 dual carriageway nowadays but there is some single carriageway parts and it's a bit uphill down in all and windy so I can't, um, I can't, I can't guarantee that we're going to get across there at full pelt. So I feel like I should play some dramatic music. Will we make it to Penrith Truck Stop in five hours and two minutes? Find out next. So yeah, that's the plan really. Uh, just basically kick the arse out of it now for as long as I can. The good thing about the uh, the good thing about the A66 is there's plenty of laybys up there, so if if it's not looking like I'm going to make Penrith which in fact I can almost guarantee I'm not going to make Penrith in four and a half but if it's not looking like I'm going to make it there's no shortage of lay buys to put up and have um, 45 minutes break and then crack on with the last bit of the drive it's a bit annoying really but that's just how it's worked out today with the brakes it, it means that I've got four hours 30 to use it'd be it'd be a bit better if I had a 10 hour drive because it, it I would be able to make the most of that last hour but because of how it's worked out with my brakes today I've basically I've got obviously I can drive up to four and a half in one stint but then I've got another 37 minutes to use rather than it being an if I had a 10 hour drive I would have an hour and 37 minutes extra so what that means is that if I do have to pull up, I'm going to have to pull up and have 45 minutes and then carry on for maybe 37 minutes. 
which seems pointless, but that's that's how it is. There's not a lot I can do about it. So yeah, I think it's going to take me a little while to find the mojo for vlogging again and getting back into it. It's just it's been so long. over six months and once you get into the habit of it and get the ball rolling then it just you know it just comes it just comes easy but having not done it for so long I've kind of like I said I've just lost the mojo for it so but I do want to do it and you know as I was saying earlier about um, monetizing the channel or maybe monetizing the channel um, I'm not doing this because I want the money or because I want to be YouTube famous or anything like that I'm doing it because it's the same as photography and I, it's, I've, I've found I mean I've, I've obviously I've started using Premiere Pro a little bit um, trying to learn things getting ready for when I do come back to making videos but it's the same with photography when you take a picture that you're really happy with, it's and especially when you've edited it, I mean, you know, most people can take a picture on the camera phone or on a camera and um, post it on the internet. But when you've when you've put the work in for it, you know, and you've put the time in editing and you're happy with that photo it's such a feeling of satisfaction and that's I feel the same with Premiere Pro some, some of the things that I've been doing playing around with it some of the results that I've had they're so satisfying and that's why I'm doing this not because you know not because I want to be anybody on YouTube or anything like that I, I want I enjoy it I do enjoy it um, and it's, it's just somewhere to showcase your work, really. So, yeah, obviously I'm still recording on the uh, GoPro 4 at the minute, so we're not quite yet going to have any fancy colour grades or anything like that, but we'll get there, we'll get there.
do you mean did I make it? Of course I made it. I don't know if you actually have to come around this way or if you can cut through. Oh yeah, maybe you do. I don't know if you have to come through the fuel pumps or not to get into the truck stop, but evidently. Oh yeah, home sweet home for tonight. You watch this now, there'll be no space in here. It'll be about my luck. need a shower. I literally cannot wait. Oh my god, guys, it's full. I don't believe it. I do not, Adam and Eve it. Oh my goodness me. Now I need to do a printout to see if I've got time to uh, have a shower or not, or if I'm gonna have to come back in the morning. I really want a shower tonight. The guy, he was all right actually. The, the boy in the security, he said uh, you can park in front of the main building while you just get a shower and then come back out. But I need to do a printout because I, I might not even have time yet. Oh, dearie me, dearie, dearie me. could not make it up we <laughs> you could not make this up I'm having an absolute nightmare an absolute nightmare the parking's full the uh, the guy on the gate says yeah you can nip in and get a shower so uh, that was just me folding my bunk up by the way <laughs> so I've just gone in to get a shower the water's cold apparently I said, can I get a shower? He said, no. I said, what do you mean? Got no water park. Come back in about 30 minutes. Sorry, buddy, but I haven't got 30 minutes. Oh my goodness me. Oh dear me. Well, my only other option now, and I hate to say it, but the only other option is Southweight Services. In all fairness, I could go in the lay-by. Uh, there's a couple of lay-bys just off the roundabout up here. And I've not got anything of any value on. So I'm not worried in that respect, but I just want a shower. I just want a nice hot shower and uh, get in bed nice and fresh. So, oh God, 12 miles, 17 minutes. We cannot afford any cock-ups here, any cock-ups at all. I'm gonna have to literally fly in there and put my handbrake on. That's me, in fact, there you go, 15 minutes. Now, that was my clock speed print time. I've got 15 minutes left. Dramatic music again.
see at this point it's not even my spread time it's not even my 15 hour time it's my uh, I've got 31 minutes left on 15 hours so in that respect I would easily make the 12 miles it's actually my drive time that I'm concerned about and this all stems from stupidly well it wasn't stupid I didn't really have a choice but this stems from using 9 hours and 12 minutes the other day the minute you go over 9 hours it's classed as a 10 doesn't matter if you use 9 hours and 1 minute or 9 hours and 59 minutes if you go over 9 hours it's classed as a 10 and I used 9 hours and 12 minutes uh, Monday and that is well hopefully it's not going to cost me more One minute left, one minute left. Result. I don't care where I park, as long as I park in one of these bays. Oh yes, oh yes, that's the fuel lane, so we will go right here. I reckon that could be my mate Jack in that M&M Kerr wagon. No, it's not, Jack drives the 500 and that's the 650. Oh my word, guys, what a result, what a result. Handbrake on, one minute left on me time. Wow, 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 wow. Just in case you're wondering. Oh look, it's, just, it's literally just ticked over to zero as I've parked up. I don't know why it does that sometimes. We made it we made it shower time shower time most importantly i've already had food i i had food when i stopped for my um, 45 minute break on the a66 so i'm not fussed about that but shower was a definite priority tonight um i didn't want to be roughing it again so see you tomorrow